Hello everybody, my name is uh, Greg Gardner. Uh, I'm up here in the beautiful Ottawa Valley, uh, situated in Pembroke. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my entry, which is going to be a uh, upscale version of pork and beans. I'll show you the first stuff that I've done here, which I've cut up some bacon. Uh, our very first thing here is I just want to get uh, basically the topper that we're going to put on top of the pork which is going to be uh, just a quick um, uh, pineapple sort of mixture anyways I do to go on top of our spicy pork. What I'm doing for that is I'm going to take some pineapple here and we're going to throw it right into uh, an, uh, a warmish pan. We're going to put in some onion. We're going to put in a little bit of garlic, everybody's finest uh, favorite. Put a little bit of bacon in here and get that going. I have chopped it up. After you've made your cuts, you do a nice little twist and you pop it off and you've got your flour. It's very important to put this in ice water while you're doing the rest of the food so they don't turn brown. Uh, after your bacon's basically fully cooked almost, we're gonna add to the pan without draining it. Now I do Okay, in with the rest of it. Then goes your bell pepper and your mushrooms. I'm using canned beans for this. I suggest using the tomato ones. You got all that cooking, we're going to put in a little bit of spice. You can kind of choose the ones that you want. I'm using kind of a smoked one. A little bit of Tony's to add just a bit of salt and spice. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And then finally, just a bit of barbecue. Before we put our pork on the grill, we really want to make sure that we've actually had a chance to put the rub on it. I'm using a gourmet rub that I got from the nice folks at Ottawa Valley Meats. Thanks for putting this on. Thanks for giving me this great meat. And we're going to basically cook it up. We're going to do the sauce once we're cooking. Hey right, guys, we're out at the barbecue. This is the exciting part anyways. So I got my grill. It's going very hot right now. I want to sear it. And uh, so I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, once you've got your sear flipped, I've also put on my zucchini at this point. We're going to take this nice smoke show barbecue sauce that I got from them. And we're going to just paint them up a little bit. Okay guys, this is looking perfect. You got a nice brown, nice car caramelized to this. It's time to take it off and let's go in and plate. To finish it off, we're gonna put our greens down. We've got some of our pickled onion on there. We put our nice little radish flour, piece of tomato, and a little tiny piece of this nice cheese they have. There's our grilled zucchini with a little bit of cheese on top of it as well. We're gonna get our party beans and you're gonna put a nice dollop on there. And do is just fan it out a little bit here just to be at the base. After this, we're gonna just put our really nice pork chop on top. Off, we put our little bit of pineapple, chutney, stuff that we've made. This is gonna just add a little bit of that sweet acidity on top. And lastly, just a little bit of our olive oil. I'm using a peach one. 